Hi guys, it's Lexi. Um, so today I'm going to be doing a book haul. I know I already filmed a video today, but I just went to the library and I got a bunch of books and I'm going to show you. Two books from my last haul that I just renewed were Paper Towns by John Green. Um, I'm just going to read this to see if I even like John Green's work, which I'm sure I will because I'm going to participate in John Green Week. Um, yeah, so Paper Towns. I think I like the other cover better, but this one's okay. Um, synopsis of this. Um, this is born in Quentin, and he is, like, in love with his neighbor, Margo. And once she, like, they go and have an all-nighter party thing. I don't really know how that works. Uh, and then Margo is gone, and he has to find her. That's that. Um, <laughs> my brother's in here. I don't know what he's looking at. Um, okay, and then I got the 13th Reality, book number three, The Blade of Shattered Hope by James Dashner. Yeah, the guy here with the Maze Runner. I'm reading both of them right now, just because I think I'm going to read this one first. This is going to be more contemporary. This will probably follow. Okay, and then all the other books are new. I got 11 books. Yep, 11. Okay. 11 all together or 11? <laughs> Tristan, um, 11 all together. Nine new ones then. I don't know which one to start with, so I'm just going to start with the one I'm most excited about, which is The Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. This is like the TV show cover. I don't know if I like this one better or the original one, but I had it on hold. It's my little flappy. I don't know why I'm keeping that in there. So you can see my last name. Okay. I don't think you can see that. <clears throat> so yeah, I don't really know what The Game of Thrones is about. I know it's an adult high fantasy. Um, I'm not going to watch the TV show because it's probably on too late, and it's, ooh, that's my hair. And it's got a lot of sexual premise. <laughs> Tristan. Um, my brother's over there. Maybe we can make a surprise visit at the end. He's playing with my pillow. That's awkward. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, there's four books, I think, in the series, at least this far. Uh, this one, Game of Thrones, A Clash of Kings, oh, A Storm of Swords, Shh. A Feast for Girls. What? What'd you do? He just dropped it on his face. Okay. So, yeah. Really excited to read this one. Um, It's pretty thick, and the wording is tiny. Look at that. So, yeah. I am going to maybe be reading this closer to Christmas. Then another one I'm really excited for is, oh my gosh, Rules of Attraction by Simone Alcalaz, the author of Perfect Chemistry. This is the second one in the series. This is from Carlos Fuentes. Is point of view. Um, yeah, and I'm really excited for this one. I was right for my face. I'm terribly sorry. Um, that cover is just adorable. Aren't they cute? I love this one much better than- Oh! <laughs> and the perfect chemistry cover. Yeah, uh, I think the cover I like the most is the third book. Um, oh, do we have the third book? In here? Nope. Um, but yeah. So, the third one, they're in a shower. I think it's Luis's one of you. What? Tristan's being dumb. Okay. Next one I'm excited about is The Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lane Taylor. This is a pretty tall book. Um, this is a big for paperback. It's like bigger than my face, which is pretty huge. And this is equally as large, and it's a hardback, so yeah. Um, ever since Book Out Misty did a review or a thing on this, she has been really excited. I, I actually don't even know what it's about. She's just been really excited and talking about it, and so I'm reading but apparently the girl has blue hair. And it actually goes out of her head that color or something? I don't know. Really excited for this one, too. I think it just came out, like, really recently. Definitely this year. I don't know if, yeah, won't tell me the month. September, I think, 2011. So, not too long ago. Uh, other one. I got Footloose, and I don't think this was a book first. I think they just made the movie, and they just, oh. Okay, yeah, it's based on the screenplay. Okay, that's it. So, yeah, this is the new one with Julian Huff and that other guy, which I don't know his name. Not the one with Kevin Bacon, but I'm still going to read this, I think, before I see the movie, even though I've been dying to see the movie, and Julianne Huff is amazing. Uh, yeah, and the print is pretty large, so this is going to be a really light read. Maybe this will be, like, oh my gosh, it's tiny. It's not even, 
228 pages, so it's not even, or it's not too, yeah, 228, I thought I said 28. So yeah, that's that. Um, now my brother's playing with a hippopotamus. Okay. That's kind of weird. Okay, I don't know what else to do with next. Okay. I got Beautiful Creatures, which is the first book in this trilogy, I think. I don't actually know the name of this. Trilogy. Um, yeah, by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. Um, it's a pretty hefty read. There's some, like, red or orange or something here. That's not hair. I don't actually know what that is. You can't even see that. Anyways, um, yeah. And then I got the sequel, Beautiful Darkness. I don't know what any of these books are about, so I'm going to have to, like, read it. Um, but it says in the, er, there's some blurbs from famous authors. Melissa Marr, who wrote Wicked Lovely, which I haven't read yet. Um, Holly Black, Cassandra Clare, Carrie Ryan, and Michelle Zink on um, that one, and the same ones on this one. Yeah. So, those are the author words. Then we have another book I've been really excited for, which is Wicked. No. Oh, Wither. Sorry. By, oh my gosh, Lauren DeStefano. It's a chemical garden trilogy. This is the first book. It just came out really recently. Oh gosh. I, so basically, I do know what this one's about, actually. There's paper, like, that I'm finding randomly in this book. Just, you want to throw this away for me? Like, I don't know if it's, like, a foreign language or, like, I don't know what this is. You can look at that later, too. Um, but, yeah. Well, one, I love the cover. Um, the cover goes, like, all the way to, like, the inside flaps, too. Which I really love. Um, yeah. Sorry, I have a cold. That's why I'm sitting. But, and her dress is just gorgeous. Look at that dress. Back to the plot. Um, so, basically, this is about a girl named Rhyme, um, which is a very interesting name. Interesting, interesting, Rhyme. Um, and basically, people, there's a play going around. People, men are dying at uh, 25, and women only live to 20. Uh, and girls are being kidnapped and forced in polygamous marriages to keep the population from dying out. And Rhyme is going to become a bride. Um, I think she's just trying to escape with her fellow sister wives. Oh, and her husband, Lyndon. Yeah, she wants to find her twin brother and just go home. Uh, and then... Yeah. Miss Garden and Gabriel, which I think will be a romantic interest. Yep. Two more books, and then almost done, Tristan. You've given me the two reading sign to wrap it up. Um, this one... Ugh, I'm concerned. This one says it will appeal to Stephanie Meyer's Twilight fan. So that's one of the main reasons I picked it up, other than the fact that people said, sorry, did you say that? That it was pretty good. Two more books, I swear, it'll be okay. Um, If I Stay by Gail Foreman. Trust me, you're ruining the light. Can I come sit by me? No? Okay. So Mia has all this stuff, and... I don't know, it doesn't really say much on the back. I don't know if she's killing herself or something. Death is involved, for sure. And the last book, my brother's really good, uh, is Oh My Gods by <laughs> I love this cover. It's so hysterical. What do you think, Tristan, of this cover? He laughs, the mine laughs. By Terrilyn Ch Childs, or Childs, I think it's Childs. Um, so maybe it's currently Phoebe, um, she's gonna have this cross-country track scholarship, you're ruining the light, Tristan Dale. And, so her mom gets married, and she moves to Greece, and she goes to this school, and the character, the, that's the character, well, yeah, but the students are, um, Greek god children, they are demigods, uh, and she just wants to get out, and there's apparently a romance interest, uh, yeah, I saw that. That's the last book. That's 11 books. Tristan, you want to come say bye real quick? Bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> bye, guys. Don't watch